What's up guys, welcome to another auction weekend. We're heading out to the east side of Melbourne today. We've got the rainy weather, but that's not gonna stop the property goers. Three auctions were booked for me this weekend, one of which is already sold, so we're already off to a very good start. We've got two auctions out towards the east side of Melbourne, so right now I'm driving out to Rulebach, where we're gonna start the day. All right, so I've just gone to the first auction and I've realized that I've left my auction sheets that I prepared last night at home. So I've just found a couple that I've got lying around in the car and just improvised a little bit. Um, put the details down, wrote everything out again so that I've got something to refer to, but, but we're gonna roll with the patches, all right? Before I go in, uh, here's a bit of a background of what we're expecting. So we're expecting two to three bidders here today. It's a beautiful house, very well located centrally in Maroolba right near the train station, walking distance and everything. So no no surprise that there's interest. It's just about the pricing. I'm hoping to see some really, really good bidding. Come around, let's have a look at what's inside. We've got a... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Maybe a quick one. Uh, not bad yourself? Yeah, not bad, can't complain. Rishi, very good to meet you. Yeah. Alright, Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the team here at Knox Property Experts, thank you very much for joining us here. I'm sure it'll be a wonderful auction here. We're all nice and cozy inside. There's 46 when you drive in the beating heart of Moolabark here. This one is a spectacular purchase and it appeals to all kinds of buyers. Who would like to get the auction underway? Yes, of course. Yes. Yes. 680, great start there to the bidding here. It's $680,000 really setting the scene here. Let's go and $10,000 rise on top if you'd like. Set 10, 690 now. $680,000 started things off. Welcome to the auction to you at 690. I'll see you in on another 10 if you like. It's $690,000. $700,000 now, bang. Got another bid there at $700,000. Welcome back to the lead, sir. See you back in on a 710 if you will. No now, once at 710 now the bid. Great bidding by the way, good luck. Twice at 710, there's a no there, which is great news for you. What about over here? Third, final time at 710 now. All done, finished. 7-Eleven, happy to see you in, very light on, but three bidders now, welcome to the auction, 7-Eleven. At 7-Eleven now, 7-12, going in once, we're playing that game, we can go back and forward all day. 7-15, bang, knockout bid there, 7-15, nut there. Wanna play your cards a little bit closer to your chest there, at 7-15, at least make them sweat for it. At 7-15 now, what about 7-16? Have to see you back in on a one, otherwise it's back to your web portal of choice. It's a beautiful home, three bed, two bath, central location, rule of now. Seeing the phone being taken out, which is not a good sign for you. I always see them come back for another bid and another bid once the phones are out. But 7.15 now in the lead, sir. Haven't forgotten over here as well. At 7.15, once at $715,000, we will wait for your phone call. Yep, sir, giving you plenty of time to jump back in if you will at 715. What do we say? Really not very impressed, it's a beautiful home, very good location as well. What are we waiting for? If you find another house out there at this kind of price range, let me know because I'll compete at 718, great bid. 725 back in on top. You're out, you've done everything and I appreciate your bidding here. 725, now the bid, sir. What's the call? Confirm that we're all out here, out here. Now, any interest over here at 725, gentlemen on the couch is in the lead at 725, sir. What about you joining in late as well? Ma'am, I know you said you weren't here to bid. Absolutely sure, we're all done, finished and silent. Otherwise, we simply pass the property in here, front and centre, we negotiate and we will sell here today, all done. Ray, I think we take a quick pause for the auction. Hopefully we can get some good news over here. And I'm waiting for you guys to change your mind here. We'll be back in just a moment, Bye. thank you. I'm, I'm just gonna float yeah. another idea, okay? Because once you pass the property in, they can walk away. Give me one minute, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. <coughs> Uh, hold up the auction yeah, for no, too long. Yeah, what? yeah, actually, no. No? no. Yeah. Is there another price that you want me to go to? I can ask the question, but otherwise, we pass the property in and yeah. we negotiate. Okay. Quite likely that we end up for that. Okay. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> All righty, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your patience and anticipation. Now we did, so just confirming once again that we're absolutely all done, out, finished, silent, and all of those and above. All right, in that case, I think we formally passed the property in, just confirming one last time, last time any interest out there and over here. In that case, a round of applause to our highest bidder here. We formally passed the property in at $725,000. We'll negotiate here and hopefully update you with a sold result soon. Thank you very much for all of your bidding and thank you very much for your attendance here. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, by the way. Good luck to you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> many more to come. <laughs> so as you can see, we had three bidders actively bidding. We got to a very good price. The success here came from number one, having people attend your auction and seeing good bidding. The bidder's price expectation during the campaign was high sixes, barely scraping sevens. We got the bidding all the way up until 725 and negotiated to 730. That's success number one. Success number two is having a reality check for the owners because they can see how far their expectations are from the market and uncovering that after holding the property for another six to 12 months, they're not gonna be expecting the price that they want today. They're gonna be expecting more. So what that means is there's always going to be a gap between the market and the owner. The owner's expectation is going to be increasing faster than the market is increasing. You've got your three strongest interests in your property bidding under auction conditions and you're still far from your your price expectations. And it starts that discussion amongst the two owners, husband and wife, how they're going to respond. That's too much talking from me. We're about to head off to the next auction. Let's see how we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the team here at Knox Property Experts, I'd like to thank you very, very much for joining us here for what I'm sure will be a spectacular auction. And why wouldn't it be? Today on offer, a beautiful opportunity. You're standing all in it as well. Unit six at 191 Scoresby Road in the beating heart of Baronia St. Kia, because I certainly can. That's why I stopped bringing my wife out to all these auctions with me. 820, we're starting the auction straight away at $820,000. Before I can even start things off, thank you very much. Good luck to you, sir. I'm clearly talking too much now. It's not about me, it's about you, Sir, in the lead, let's go in $20,000 rises on top to keep things moving along now. Straight into the auction at $820,000. Good luck over here at 820 now. The bid twice at 820000 Third, final time, all done, finished, and absolutely silent here. What do we say? Any interest? Beautiful home. 840, thank you very much, sir. Good luck over here at $840,000. Now two bidders fighting it out. Let's go 860 now at $840,000. Another 10, happy to take the 10. We're going to smaller increments now. 850 the bid at $850,000, sir, 860. Major intentions known, you can see the property is wanted by somebody else. There's the social proof and evidence there. They're not slowing down, but they kind of are at the same time. They're probably close to their limit too. At $850,000, what do we want to do? Needs to know once at $850,060. Not done yet and welcome back to the lead now at $860,000. Now needs to be another 10 on top, what do we say? $1,000 now, no better bidder offer. Another at five. Another five, 65. They're going down to smaller and smaller increments, but I'm happy to get some back in at $865,000. Any interest over here as well? $5,000, shake to that head, are you sure? Otherwise, it's back to your web portal of choice. We're not done, 870. You can tell who's, who's the boss there and who makes all the decisions there. Shaking the head from one party, but this gentleman here wants it. At $870,000, now the bid. What do we say? Very tightly contested here at $870,000 now, and I don't blame you, it's a beautiful Another home. Five. Another five, 75 now, what do we say, sir? You said you're out and you come back in, I don't believe it. At 875, now let's go straight to 880. And $870,000. $75,000 now, Ray, I think perfect time to get instructions from upstairs as well. We're very close to that point in time. So it makes no sense to, to stop now at $875,000. Gentleman on the couch has already made himself at home at $875,000. Instructions being held upstairs as well. We may have some very good news very soon at $875,000. Otherwise, gentleman over here gets exclusive rights to negotiate here. What do we say? Having discussions there. Now, I would like to prepare you for the next bid. I think they're gonna come back in. They don't look done just yet. Perfect for a growing family here at $875,000. What happens if the property was in the market? Would you bid again? Because we're very close to that point in time. Ray's getting some instructions here at $870,000, $75,000. Are we on the market or not? On the market and selling, no better bidder offer. $875,000, no better bidder offer. We sell any bid on top, we'll get you back into the lead. Are you sure? Otherwise, we're going back around and around to more 
go open homes and inspections, the competition is just gonna get more and more tight. You're not gonna find another well-built house like this. Very new builds that are very well done, it's hard to come by. What happens if they're out? You don't know. Test the bid. At 875, worst case scenario, they pay another thousand dollars on top. It costs you absolutely nothing, right? You bid once, they bid again, costs you nothing. Worst case scenario is you buy the home at $876,000, that could be your next bid. When the property's on the market, I'd be remiss as an auctioneer if I gave up this early. Because one last bid could do it. At 876, could be you in front. Are you sure? You're gonna go to the next auction and you're gonna be pushed to your limits once more time. So pushing that a little bit further may just unlock that opportunity for you. We're already on the market and selling here. But once, twice, third, and final time, we are all done. Finished and absolutely silent here. Ray, I think yep. we're sold here. One last chance to jump back in on top. Even a dollar. How? <laughs> One last time. We're selling. Selling. Congratulations to our new owners. We are sold. Well done, well bid, well bought. Thank you very much for your bidding today. Congratulations to our owners and have a good uh, rest of your weekend. Thank you. Mate, well done. Thank you. Well done. So they'll sign the paperwork, you'll sign the paperwork and it's all done. Can they see the winner? Yeah, come downstairs. So as you can see, we had a great auction weekend with that last one selling under the hammer for an incredible result of $875,000. Both auctions, of course, you saw had really good bidding. It's quite reassuring to see buyers having confidence coming out to auctions because it is quite mixed at the moment. Some auctions go very well and some auctions have very little interest. Now, I have noticed a couple of you have subscribed over the last couple of weeks to my content. So big thank you to those subscribers. If you're liking this content, please do subscribe, like the video or comment. It means a lot to me and I will be continuing to bring you along to all of my auction weekends and give you a breakdown of what I'm seeing on the ground in Melbourne. That's it for this video. If you stuck around until this far, thank you very much and I'll see you next week.